everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. On today's episode, we're going to take a quick look at a new arcade platformer indie game developed by Flynn's Arcade that just got released on Steam. And also, this game is going to be coming to the iArcade platform very, very soon. That's right, we're talking about Murtop. Now, this game is available on Steam right now, guys. I think it's only like three or four bucks is what I just paid for it. Uh, it's on sale, so it's pretty cheap. And it is another one of these retro-inspired remakes. Let's go ahead and fire this game up. And we're going to take a look at it here for you on Steam. So this particular game, again, made by Flynn's Arcade, is the indie developer. And I love the fact that this is all set up to play on an arcade machine. They even have the cool little, you know, faux arcade intro boot up screens and things like that you got the bezels and of course it's a vertical game platformer um take a look here let's uh let's uh take a look here so you have the online leaderboards right so i actually just did a test run got 17,450 points i'm at the very bottom there didn't figure out how to enter my initials properly hopefully we'll enter them correctly this next time uh so i put aaa uh, under options, you can go full screen on off. I got full screen on. Adjust the volume. You can change the different bezels. So you have this bezel or this bezel. This bezel too here is actually a little bit brighter, but I'm going to play the game with this bezel. You could turn the CRT filter on or off if you keep your eyes on the text. You'll notice that the CRT filter looks semi-decent. Pixel perfect, I'm actually kind of surprised, is, you know, it shrinks it down big time. It does make the pixels nice and perfect and sharp but it does shrink your play field down. So I recommend leaving that off. That way you have the full screen mode. Tape mode is so you can rotate the screen depending on what kind of arcade machine you're playing it on. So that's pretty cool. They have the screen shake, screen flash. You can leave those on off. Color palettes, you can change the color palettes. We're going to go ahead and leave that off. Color palettes for the menus. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing this on my PC with my... 8-bit do, 8-bit do, pro-bit controller. Press L1 to insert coin. Press R1 to start. Let's dive in. So in this game, it's a combination of if Dig Dug and Bomberman had a baby, you are this rabbit going through the different platform levels, and you have to <laughs> poop out different bombs and kill the enemies, and of course, you could blow up yourself, so you gotta be careful here. Let's do it. See, I blew up myself there. Oh, I forgot which button was my bomb button. Again, I only did one quick test run. It does appear that if you're going to blow up a... If you're going to lay down a bomb, you're definitely going to want to change direction right away. Boom. And right there. That's how you get through stage one. Let's crank up the volume on the game and check it out some more. All right, here we go. Boom, just like that, baby. All right, my high score, remember, was 17,000 before I died, and I haven't died yet, so... Just like any other game, man, it takes practice. Oh, no, you can't lay bombs when you're on the top level. That's my fault here. You only got a certain amount of time as well. Oh! He got me. No! Now let's try and get up on the leaderboard.
Oh, he got me. We only got 30 seconds left. Yes, we did it. All right, here we go. Awesome. All right, we made it through four stages. Okay, as you can see, you get better at the game the more you play. Oh, he got me. What, I got one life left? Oh, there's a ball coming down. Oh! <laughs> it got nuts there. As you can see, the screen starts shaking. There's even more enemies. It gets crazy. Uh, this is actually a pretty fun game, man. There you go guys, that's a quick look at Murtop. I kind of like this game, it's available on Steam now for three or four bucks. Definitely let me know your feedback, reactions, comments after this video is over. Tell me what you think about this game for three or four bucks, I'm not gonna complain. It's a fun, cheesy uh, take on the or classic arcade games, Dig Dug and Bomberman. And this game is gonna be coming to the iArcade soon. <clears throat> the developer who created this game leaked that information out apparently a while ago. I wasn't even aware of it until this morning when I saw some other people talking about it. There you guys go. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.